Hello, my name is Becky Brandenburg. I'm from Patuxent Baptist Church, and today I'm just going to share a quick devotional thought with you. And the passage that I'm going to be reading from is Matthew 20, verses 1 through 7. I'm going to read verses 6 and 7, but I'm going to talk a little bit about it first. And in this passage, Jesus is likening the kingdom of heaven to a man who owns a house. And this man goes out and he's looking for laborers, for servants to come and work in his vineyard. And the Bible tells us that he goes out in the morning and he hires some men and they agree to work for a penny for the day. Then he goes back out the third hour and he sees men standing idle. And he says, hey, what are you doing? You know, I, I need your help. Come work for me, come work in my vineyard. And he hires these men. He goes back out the sixth hour and then again the ninth hour, same thing. And these men agree to work for a penny for the day. And then he goes out the 11th hour, and that's what brings me to my verse. Verse six says, and about the 11th hour he went out and found others standing idle and saith unto them, why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive the 11th hour. So what is the 11th hour? It's, it's basically the end of the work day. It's the last hour of the work time. And so this man needs workers. He doesn't care that it's the 11th hour. He doesn't care that the day is almost done. He needs help. And he goes out and he finds these men just standing idly by and he says, come work for me. And they go and they, they work for him. And that's where it hit me. I am that laborer. I am that hired servant, and you, if you're a Christian, you are that laborer, and this is the 11th hour. This is the time to not be standing idly by. And I got to thinking, what am I doing for God? What have I done for God? In this 11th hour, what am I doing? What are we doing for God? And my desire is that God does not look down and see me standing idle, and doesn't look down and see me doing nothing. But this 11th hour should not be wasted. We need to give this 11th hour to God. And I'm encouraged in the fact that the men who were hired that 11th hour, they got the same reward as the men who were hired early in the day. They agreed to the same amount. They got that same reward. So perhaps you're sitting at home and you're thinking, I haven't done a lot for God, or I've wasted the time God's given me. I haven't lived for him. It's not too late. It is not too late to jump in there and to go from now, to give God this 11th hour. Um, my heart is blessed with everything that's going on right now with the coronavirus. Churches all across America, all across the world are pretty much shut down. We cannot go out like we used to. We can't have outreaches. We can't meet like we used to. And we're kind of going through a trial, a persecution. And yet, if you get on social media, what do you find? Sermon after sermon, after message, after gospel presentation. It's like the government is telling us we can't meet, and I understand that, but we are not gonna stop. And I love that. And it's like we're persevering through this. Through this 11th hour, we are not gonna stop doing our job. We're not gonna stop telling people about Christ. And because of it, I've heard that thousands of people have come to know the Lord, and it amazes me. And my prayer is that when all of this is lifted, we don't lose that passion. We don't lose that desire. We don't stop telling people. We don't stop doing our part during this 11th hour. Right now, people are scared. People are searching. They're lonely, they're worried, they're afraid, and we have the answers. If you know Jesus Christ as your savior, you have the answer. Please don't sit by. May God not look down at us and see us standing idle. May he not look down and say, what are you doing? May we give this 11th hour to God. There's a song that says, work for the night is coming when man can work no more. There will be a time when Jesus Christ returns, calls us out, and our time is done. Our chance to tell other people about God is over. So my encouragement is don't stand by. Don't be idle. Don't waste this 11th hour, but instead give it to God and give him the glory. Thank you.